Hello everyone, my name is Chelsea Bradley. I am a psychology professor here at Victoria College and today I'm going to be reading to you from my favorite book, The Outsiders. This book was published in 1967, written by S. E. Hinton, and it deals with themes of classism, violence, poverty, and all of the effects that those have on young people. It was banned frequently from schools for depictions of gang violence, use of cigarettes and uh, alcohol products by teenagers, some language, and interestingly enough, depicting family dysfunction. I think that that's interesting because this book was published at a time when lots of people were fighting just to have representation in society, especially people of color. And I think that the themes of The Outsiders have merit today as a reflection of the negative impacts of classism and systemic poverty on young people. Um, so I'm going to read to you guys just an excerpt from the end of the book, and I hope you enjoy. <clears throat> I've been thinking about it, and that poem, the guy that wrote it, he meant you're gold when you're a kid, light green. When you're a kid, everything's new. It's just when you get used to everything that it's day. Like the way you dig sunsets, pony. That's gold. Keep that way. It's a good way to be. I want you to tell Dally to look at one. He'll probably think you're crazy, but ask for me. I don't think he's ever really seen a sunset. And don't be so bugged over being a greaser. You still have a lot of time to make yourself be what you want. There's still lots of good in the world. Tell Dally. I don't think he knows. Tell Dally. It was too late to tell Dally. Would he have listened? I doubted it. Suddenly, it wasn't only a personal thing to me. I could picture hundreds and hundreds of boys living on the wrong sides of cities. Boys with black eyes who jumped at their own shadows. Hundreds of boys who maybe watched sunsets and looked at stars and ached for something better. I could see boys going down under streetlights because they were mean and tough and hated the world, and it was too late to tell them that there was still good in it, and they wouldn't believe you if you did. There should be some help. Someone should tell them before it was too late. Someone should tell their side of the story. And maybe people would understand then and wouldn't be so quick to judge a boy by the amount of hair oil he wore. It was important to me. I sat down and picked up my pen and thought for a minute, remembering. Remembering a handsome, dark boy with a reckless grin and a hot temper. A tough, toe-headed boy with a cigarette in his mouth and a bitter grin on his hard face. Remembering, and this time it didn't hurt, a quiet, defeated-looking 16-year-old whose hair needed cutting badly and who had black eyes with a frightened expression to them. One week had taken all three of them. And I decided I could tell people, beginning with my English teacher. I wondered for a long time how to start that theme, how to start writing about something that was important to me. And I finally began like this. When I stepped out into the bright sunlight from the darkness of the movie house, I had only two things on my mind. Paul Newman and a ride home. Thank you.